welcome back to my channel how you guys doing well i know it's been a while that we haven't uh that i haven't posted videos but i'm back um so um and so i just want to make uh tell you guys a little bit um make sure you guys um check out my website lizunique.com i have um clothing on there um i have pouches that i've made and um I'm going to be adding some purses that I've done. Um, and this is another pouch that I've done. I've made this pouch. And um, this is not actual jean material. It's like cotton material. It looks jean, but it's not. And I added this lace and then this top part. Um, and inside, I added a pocket to the pouch. Um and uh linen inside um and linen inside the the pouch so you know let me know what you guys think of this you know and i'm probably gonna make another one of these um with this material with this fabric i'm gonna make another one and probably just with the lace on top of it so let me know what you guys think of that and i also made this purse this is another uh, a purse that I've made, um, and I'm gonna make another one of these with a different fabric, uh, but a little bigger. So um, I need to know what you guys think of these pouches, these purses. You know, um, if you guys want any or anything like that, they're gonna be on my website. I'm gonna be putting them up soon. This is another purse that I've made. Um, there I put linen in them this one has a, a linen and this one has the velcro inside um, and this is uh, this one has linen inside and this one has a pocket inside of it I added this inside too make so I added that inside too and then so this is uh, one of the purse the way it looks I know you guys can see it's a good um, so I'll be putting these up on my website and so I'll be putting these two up um when you guys order you know these handmade stuff is you don't get what I sh what um you don't get what I show on the picture you get um I make them from scratch again you know this is this is all just um these are just samples of you know of what I I can make and I'm gonna be selling and making but the that's not what I'm gonna be you know what I've made is not what I'm gonna sell to you I'm gonna you know whatever you guys order and, and ask for it's gonna be made um new it's not gonna be what I put up on the website they're just samples so I have these two purses that I showed you that I, I'm gonna be making with this fabric and I have another fabric um, but the, so I only, I only order, I only got, I only had, I only bought three yards to make these purses. So of this fabric that I'm showing you. So, um, and it requires a yard to a yard and a half to make these purses. So, um, right now I should just have about a yard and a half to two yards um of fabric left over so it's going to be a limited quantity so if you if you know you guys order i need you guys you know if you guys are interested and want to order them i am um, i need you guys to let me know because I, then i have to buy more fabric um to make the purses but i'm gonna be um like i said i'm making another one with a different fabric and then um you know if, if you guys want any specific fabric or anything like that, just let me know and I'll get it. Um, but so yeah, so that's I'm um, gonna be doing more purses, different fabrics. So you know, if they, if you guys like it, if not, then I'm not just, I'm not gonna be buying and making, and then you guys are not gonna, you know, are interested or want to buy. So you know, so that's where I'm at right now. Um, so make sure you guys check out my website um they are they're probably going to be up by the time i put up this video so make sure you guys check that out so see you guys soon and back to the video 
hi everyone welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while but i'm back um so today i'm going to show you guys how to uh make a cape for kids um it's easy and simple what i'm gonna use i already did one i already did one for my son um this is the one that i did for him it's already all done um added a velcro on there you don't have to add velcro you can um just uh, attach it together and then you know they can put it over their head but you have to make sure it's um big enough to go over their head so i just rather did the the velcro that way it fits better around his neck so it's not like choking him so i did it like this what I did, I used a cape they already had, and I just cut around it. Um, so making one for each of my kid, and um, so this is like a, a silk material um, that I'm using, um, and it's purple, and so. I got one yard of fabric and you're gonna uh, fold it in half that way you get uh, two because you're gonna need one uh, you're gonna need um sew it together um, so you need two pieces of fabric and sew it together um, and you don't I'm just using the one color you can add two colors to it you know you can add um, like this one this one has pink and then it has the black on the other side um, so I'm gonna turn this around okay so you're gonna fold it in half and you're gonna fold it again in half okay so now it's uh, right sides together um, I fold it in half and then I fold it in half again so that way you get two fabrics two cutouts um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on top of the fabric to use it as a guide so this is the the cape that I used to do my sons so I'm gonna use his because um the neck it's uh the way I um the neck is perfect for them the way it fits so I'm gonna use uh, my son's the one I did for him okay so now I have it all set up um I put it as close as the edge on that side make sure it's the folded edge and now and have that opened over there um, so that I can cut it, you know the, uh, around the neck the right way so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this with my rotary blade so I'll show you guys how that looks okay so it's all cut up now there it is um, so now you have to go around um, with the make sure it's folded in half if you have extra cape fold it in half I'm just showing you how to do this with a pattern um, um, and then just go in about half an inch take in about half an inch or um, use your serger if you have one so make sure they're right sides together and that's how it looks when you open it up um another way you can do it is by going in with like an angle um if you don't want to have that roundness there you can just go in with um you know fold it in half like I, like I showed you and then you can just go in half way and then just use like a a bowl or you know something round for the neck or just take 
you know, a measurement of the neck from your kid and use that with a, um, you can do it with a measuring tape and then just, you know, mark with a measuring tape um, how you want it. So you can just go in with like a straight angle like that if you don't have a cape but I'm showing you with a cape <laughs> um so now I'm just gonna go around with this um with a surgery machine and just leave an opening so I'm gonna go around with this with the surgery machine and leave an opening on the bottom so you can turn it um right sides out okay so I'm gonna do that with my surgery and um I'll be right back okay so I sold it all around um I already turned it inside out I should have showed you guys but um so you leave a little opening so then you can turn it inside out so I went around with my surgery machine and so now for some reason I think I cut too much off the top uh, for the neck thing for this for this one <laughs> But that's okay. So then I'm going to add the Velcro to this and this side. And then for the bottom, I'm going to slip stitch it um, by hand. Um, or you can go with the sewing machine. And you fold this in half. Um, take it in like that. You take it in, fold it. And then just just go with in with your sewing machine just at the edge of it. But I'm gonna slip stitch it. I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the velcro. Um, I bought these at uh, Joanne Fabrics, and um, I'm just gonna cut a piece of it and add it to the neck area. I'm just gonna go on each corner four sides and um, straight stitch with my sewing machine so I'll show you guys that um, so I'm gonna cut this so that it can go on here um, so one goes on top and one goes on the bottom so the other side of the velcro so I'm going to add that so then it can go like that. All right. So I'm going to cut this and I'm going to go ahead and um, put it on. I'll show you guys how that looks. And then we're going to, I'm going to show you how to slip stitch. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the slip stitch on the bottom. Um, I just learned how to do this okay so i i said i was gonna do a slip stitch i was gonna show you how to do the slip stitch but it was a little um difficult to show you guys how to do the slip stitch um you know with a camera uh, how to do that you know with a close-up and all that uh. so what you do is you make sure this where the raw edge you fold it fold it in inward and then you're gonna insert the needle that way this one this fabric the uh, not together but separate and then you're going to insert it uh, make sure that the knot is not visible right here i did a mistake i don't know what happened there but um it's supposed to go like that you know you can't see the thread or anything like that so you're going to go inward and then you're going to go on the other side of this fabric and it's going to go on top of this fabric and you're going to go in on top but the needle is going to be that way so when when you go in on top you're gonna go pull it out that way and then you're gonna go in on top of this one and then pull it out that way and so that's how it goes um, but anyways if you don't understand that uh, there's other uh, channels there's other videos that show you how to do a slip stitch um, I just learned how to do this a couple days ago so I'm still not that good at doing a slip stitch but it looks better it looks good um so i'm gonna show you guys a picture of my kids wearing their capes um the reason i did this is because my son wanted his own cape for uh the for 
uh, Wonder Pets. Um, he's into this cartoon. It's called Wonder Pets. And um, so that's the reason I'm doing this, these capes. And I decided to show you guys how to do it. Um, okay, so the cape is done. Um, this is the end. I finished the uh, Velcro on here. Went around it easily on and on. So that's the cape. Um, so it's done. I'm just gonna go and iron it on uh, low heat. And they're ready to be worn for my kids. So I gotta make one more. And I'll show you guys a picture of my kids wearing the capes. Um, so yeah. So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you guys make sure uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you're new um, and so next video I'm gonna be next video I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making a dress for my daughter I'm gonna be using this fabric uh, Sisters Forever says this is Elsa and Anna um, fabric and I'm going to try and make a, a dress and I'm going to show you guys um, a video on that alright so stay tuned for that I'll see you guys soon peace